This is an interactive e-learning platform that we are developing. For each lecture, there will be instructional slides, interactive slides, question slides, and mini games. The purpose of developing this platform is to change the traditional content-based e-learning website into modern-day interactive site. Therefore, students can be attracted in participating throughout the course. In comparison to traditional e-learning sites, OFF and AS learning assessment as be achieved with all the interactive activities throughout the lecture, just like an actual class. In this video, we will walk through a couple of slides that give you an idea of how it works. Welcome to Yorkville High School Grade 12 Calculus and Vectors. Today, we will talk about rate of change and the slope of a curve on section 1.1 in the textbook. These are the instructional videos. The learning goal of today's lesson would be to calculate an average rate of change of two points using the slope of a line and to estimate the instantaneous rate of change using this method. First lesson, sequence and tangents. There are two types of slope lines we will be using for this chapter, sequence line and tangents line. There are similarities and differences between these two lines and we will look further in detail on the following pages. First, we will talk about sequence line. Sequence are lines that connect two individual points that lie on the same curve, which are shown in orange. If we solve for the slope of the orange line, the slope will represent the average rate of change between the two points on the curve. These quizzes are knowledge checkpoints. We make sure the students understand some key concepts before the students keep going. This will serve as as learning assessment. Here are some questions to test what we have learnt so far. And for tangents line, it is a line that runs parallel or in the same direction of the curve, touching at only one point. Tangent point is the point at which the tangent line touches the curve, which is represented in red on the graph. And the same idea with the sequence line. The slope of the tangent line represents the rate of change of the curve, and we call it the instantaneous rate of change at the tangent point. For the following graph, the blue line is a tangent line for point P. Moreover, it is also a secant line between point P and point Q. Here is the last part of today's lesson, the difference between dependent and independent variable. Click next when you are ready. Independent variable is the value that's being inputted into the equation. In the function f of x equals 2x, x is the independent variable that is being inputted. Dependent variable is, just like its name, dependent on the equation and the independent variable. In this case, f of x or y would be the dependent variable that depends on the 2x. Now here are some key concepts to summarize what we have learned today. In terms of activities, every lecture will be slightly different. The objective is to provide a for, as, learning assessment so both teacher and student will have an idea of their current level. Now let's play a game to see what we have learned so far. 